what I want to do here today is to share with you a recruiting system that I've been working on for a very long time to really tweak to how can you use the core viral marketing plan, which involves basically creating a newsletter, uh, building a list, publishing videos, webinars, even live streaming to help you attract agents to your team or brokerage without necessarily the need of hiring a full-time recruiter on salary. All right. And if you do have a full-time recruiter, that's great. Or if you are great, this will help complement your strategy. So hopefully there's less pounding the phones and we can attract a little more as opposed to chasing um, uh, recruits. So if you're watching this, you're a client of our firm and I just want to say thank you so much. And um, what I basically want to kind of show you here is before we get into Jeff, Jeff, you're just a minute, you buddy. I know badly you want to share a bunch of good stuff. Um, our core service at Viral, let me actually share my screen with you guys really quick. We've been doing our core service at Viral Marketing for eight years. And this is what we do. We charge two grand up front one time, 550 a month, as you guys know, and we help you publish educational videos out to your database. And I've never really had any type of upsell, if you want to call it a premium service uh, to this, except some advertising, some extra advertising management we've done for some people. But I haven't really had something that I've really been excited to add on to the back end of this that would actually get results that wouldn't just be some shiny object or scheme, to be honest with you. But now I do have something that works. I've been testing this out for quite a few months. A lot of you have come to me and said, Frank, how can we use viral marketing to help recruit? And the answer that I've given you um, up to this point is, you know, let's just start sending out coaching videos. Now in my head, I understood that at a much deeper level that the coaching videos would drive to an event that would drive to a one-on-one -on -one meeting that would drive to recruits. You'd have your value proposition put together, all those things. And unfortunately what it turned into is just taking your educational videos. They probably really aren't educational. The more videos about, you know, how great we are and why you should join our team and just spamming all of the real estate agents on the MLS. And that is not how to successfully recruit. So the purpose of today, for your clients that are looking to recruit agents, I wanna share with you the marketing plan that Jeff Cohn used, because we talked about it. It's the same plan I'm gonna show with you today because I'm actually rolling out, if you will, what I'm going to call project-based group implementation. Project-based group implementation. Here's how this works, let me actually show you. So you'll be able to go down here someday and actually see some extra projects we can help you implement. And one of those services will be this real estate recruiting course. And what I'm gonna do here in the chat for you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to this. You won't find it up on the website yet, but it's pretty close to being done. Hang on here. So this is uh, in the chat. You should get it in your webinar chat for all the panelists and attendees here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back up here. But this is what I put together. I've taken people through this. The concept is, what if I could create two classes a year, a class that starts January 8th and a class that starts January 9th. And what if I could meet with you, if I taught three classes a week with a small group of six to eight people, could I take you through implementing an entire real estate agent recruiting campaign at the highest level in six months? And the answer is absolutely yes. And that's something I want to do. So if you actually click through this, you'll actually see I'm starting a group January 8th and teaching three classes a week of six to eight people. On top of that, so I teach class, and here is the entire outline of all the lessons for each class every single week. <laughs> I have put together literally a six-month course to guide you through setting up an entire real estate agent recruiting marketing system to just flood you with agents. And Jeff here is going to talk about how he went from 25 to 50 agents basically following this marketing plan just this year in his office. Okay. So once you guys have checked this out, and obviously at the end, if you're interested in this, just go on down to the bottom, fill out your name or email me and let me know. But this is something John and I are teaching to help our clients in the core system that want to execute an additional campaign, additional project. I put together a group implementation course with a lesson plan of week by week what we have to do to actually get this implemented. And yes, it's a little more money. It takes more work. Uh, basically a thousand bucks a month, more or less. But you get the implementation with that. Okay as you guys are currently viral marketing clients. So real quick, how this works, and then we're getting to Jeff and how Jeff did it, is there's four steps to a successful recruiting campaign. And Jeff, this is how I want to kind of structure our interviews today. 
Mm -hmm. is first you have to make an offer. Why in the world would an agent join your team? And we have to write that down. We have to communicate that. I'm going to ask, you know, why in the world agents join your team, Jeff? I know you have a good acronym for that, which we'll get into. All right. Mm -hmm. Then after we craft your offer, we have to get people to take one-on-one -on -one meetings with you. Kind of like a coaching meeting or a business meeting or a recruiting meeting, whatever you want to call it. But the best recruits come from a training event. You have to get people to some type of training event or a mastermind group across all brokerage brands, you know, in a, in a safe, comfortable space. Where they don't feel like they're being recruited and you're going to have to train them where you can demonstrate your expertise. We have to actually create some training events, some standardized training events that you can teach the same thing kind of over and over to a new audience all the time. Then we have to start publishing educational Q and a training content whether it's educational videos, answer commonly asked questions, business questions by agents, whether it's interviewing the agents in your office about their success, or you can go so far as what Jeff has done here and start live streaming all of your existing meetings and all existing trainings to all the agents in the marketplace and whoever one subscribes to. So basically the easiest way for me to share that is basically the video blog, right? Two educational videos a month on some level, basically a real estate training newsletter. And then finally, how in the world, so if the goal is to get people to join your team or your brokerage, get them to meet with you, get them to an event, and get them to spend time with you and get to know you by subscribing to your online education-based content, how do you get people to start that funnel process? Well, you need an outbound calling or messaging assistant reaching out to agents. We've got to be doing some Facebook advertising. We need to have some type of recruiting or careers or real estate agent training website. And those are the four big modules. And I've broken this down to be able to implement this whole thing uh, bit by bit over the course of six months. So if you're interested, let me know. So Jeff, welcome, Frank. friend. How are you, Thanks, buddy? Man. Great introduction. Thank you very much. And super excited today. I hope I can bring some value. I love this point, this topic. And uh, a lot of people talk about challenges because there's too many internet leads now. And you had a thought five years ago if someone said you had too many leads that the person speaking was crazy. And I hear it now time and time again from top teams that there's too many leads. Uh, they need to be scrubbed and there's not enough people to scrub them or that want to scrub them. And so recruiting is obviously one of those solutions. And I talk a lot about the three pillars of any successful business that's going to scale. Number one is being a business that recruits talent in all areas of your business. Number two, retaining that talent by offering value, which you talked about some of that today. And then also training to help people be the best that they can be. So recruiting starts at all. Yeah. So Jeff's done a wonderful job. I mean, um, he, you went from 25 to 50 agents on your team this month. So it is a team instead of a brokerage, Berkshire Hathaway. Yep. You run Omaha's elite real estate team. Uh, 750 homes you'll sell this year with 50 agents on your team. Yep. Right? That's, by the way, incredible. And you don't have a full-time recruiter. Nope. It's all done through marketing. Yeah. So Frank has obviously had a bug in my ear for a very long time um, and with all of his crazy ideas of what I needed to do to be able to get more people to want to join my team. And one of his crazy ideas was just putting cameras on the walls in the office and live streaming all of my content, which sounded ridiculous. Uh, we did it. I was like, let's yeah, just did. do it. And uh, Frank helped me with that a little bit. And we were able to launch in January. We spent a lot of money. We wanted to make it really good because we knew it wasn't just going to be for my agents. And it wasn't just going to be for our recruiting efforts, but we all also sell access to all of our team's trainings Wednesdays and Fridays uh, to agents across the world. So my agents loved that because they're still supposed to come in the office, but when they can't or when they're traveling, they have access to all of our content. But what we found was that we also could make that content available to our discretion. It wasn't always open source, but once a month, we'll make one of those live streams available to our recruiting list. And so we can pick it. We can create a group. We created a group called Elite Real Estate uh, Omaha's elite real estate mastermind. So we call it a mastermind for real estate agents. And it's really just our recruiting list. And we stream that content once a month to that list. And so of course there's huge engagement. They all have access. They can instant message us during the trainings, but more importantly, we're then using it to invite them to come to a live event in the office. So they get a taste of what they're going to see when they're in the office. We don't recruit. None of our recruiting efforts has been recruiting. It's simply offering value and people self-elect. They say, Hey, I want to learn more. How do I join this team? You know, the, the split conversation and, isn't happening until they're ready to. Yeah. Come in. And Jeff, we're going to walk through, we have a whole hour here. We're going to walk through your offer, but what Jeff said there is the key point of differentiation for what I want to train on for this is that this is about attracting, not chasing and just 
showing how great your training is, the success of your agents, interviewing them, how great your meetings are, and basically broadcasting that, getting it through media out to all the area agents who basically you just blow away all the other brokers or their other teams that came and compete with you because you're just right. in front of all their agents all the time, yeah. you know? And that was our idea with Jeff. So just to kind of show you what Jeff did, you know, yeah. we're going to talk about the newsletter and the offer and everything, but I had this idea with Jeff. He asked me, Frank, how do I take it to the next level? I said, Jeff, well, you should probably, you do all these great trainings in your office. And Jeff didn't want to take any more time to like shoot more content. I was like, why don't you just record your existing training? So he went and got what you see here. There's this little Mevo. Uh, you can actually live stream using this little Mevo like this. Isn't this cool? And he started live streaming his events. He did it with a simple Mevo for the longest time. And as he got better, he upgraded his equipment and so on and so forth. But I just want you to see if we can basically get a system in place to start publishing educational training content and success stories of your agents consistently out to people who have given you permission to receive it, you're slowly going to start attracting agents to come mm -hmm. over to you. It's going to happen over time. Here's the number one fear that agents have, even agents that are on this, this hangout with us right now. We are worried, and I was worried as well, that the, the content I was presenting wasn't going to attract other agents, that it wasn't going to be valuable enough. It wasn't going to be polished enough or professional enough. And of course, now being the number one team in Nebraska and doing all these deals, I carry a little bit more weight. But in the beginning, doing 50, 60 deals a year, who am I to tell someone else how to do their business? But what we forget to remember is the average agent nationwide and in most loca locations does around nine deals a year. So take whatever content you want. It's better than probably 99% of the other teams that are in your marketplace. So don't yeah, be scared guys, about content. Any of you guys here that are on this, it's a viral client, you have something you can absolutely teach. So let's step back and let's just walk through how you implemented this plan. So I'm gonna walk these guys through, you know, take them through six months to implement this. But before you even started recruiting, you know, you had to get over the mindset shift going from the producer to the business owner. Let's just take very quickly, I wanna hear your transition, how you manage going from the rainmaker uh, to becoming a trainer and leader of other people. Hmm. And then through that, I want to hear how you crafted your offer to join your team. So we'll talk about your CLAP acronym. Okay. okay. But let me hear how you went from Rainmaker to Team Builder and how you handled that financially, yeah. and your mindset, and all that as you step out of production, that fear. Yeah. And let's talk about how you crafted your offer and tell me why agents join your team. And then we'll move forward to the training events, the newsletter, and how you got people down there. Yeah. All right. So I got licensed in 2007. It was 06. My first year was 2007. Um, I was really successful out of the gate. I'm a 9090-99i for those out there that know what the DISC assessment is. And I did about 50 transactions my first year in 2007, netting me 96 grand. For the next five years, I stayed an individual. I hired a transaction coordinator and an operations manager that did marketing. But essentially, I didn't start a team. I just was you know, servicing all the leads, allowing my back office to do all the other support. And in 2011, I netted about $350,000. Well, I was 27. I had three small kids, six, four, and two. And I felt like there needed to be a better way. I wanted to put myself in a position where when I was 47, 20 years later, maybe I could step out of the servicing side and just run a big team. So I started I love, meeting I love the 47 year old, you know, maybe 47. I don't know. Yeah. So I started meeting with top teams all over the country to learn about what made them successful and how they operated. And I started to find that a lot of them are really great at one or maybe two things, but not very many took all the top five things that I think are most important to run a business and put them together and did a really good job at it. So we started just kind of piecing together best practices. And the very first thing for me was a lead funnel. And we were generating like 10 leads a year off of our website at the time. But we decided to join um, at the time was Boomtown, who I still am with today, that we felt would offer the best front end website solution back in CRM. And we launched Boomtown. Obviously, there's tons of other people in the space. It doesn't matter. Just find one that you feel comfortable with. And overnight, in September of 2011, I went from generating zero internet leads to 300 leads with $1,000 a month ad spend. So for anyone that's ever worked an internet lead, it takes a lot of time and energy. We actually know exactly how much time and energy now. We're freaks on when it comes to analytics. We know it takes about 150 outbound calls to convert one sale. The point of diminishing returns with internet leads, we found over time to be about 30 leads a month per agent if you want to reach max conversion. So obviously out of the gate with 300 leads, I, I needed 10 agents, but I didn't know the figures at that time. I hired five in three months. And to be an agent on my team, you had to be a licensed agent. 
That was it. Like I didn't care who it was. I took anybody. No one was with me after a year, my first year, all those initial agents were gone. But my, you asked about when I chose to get out of the business. My yeah, thought process you, was everyone. once my team netted me $300,000, the sales that my team had, then that would give me the ability to quit selling and just focus on scaling and building the business. And that happened for me two years later. So our first year, we, I did 80 deals in 11 in 2012 and 12 months. I went from 80 to 240 sides, 12 million to 42 million. I grew over 300%. And I attribute a lot of that to simply having leads to give to agents and then holding those agents accountable. And now over the last six years, we've perfected the process of accountability. Like you said, asking for the CLAPS acronym, culture leads accountability processes yeah. and strategies. Yeah. Most, a lot of the people who are watching this are rainmakers. They're the, they're the producers and they have to close that deal and make that money to be able to pay bills. Right. How in the world can you maybe explain to them? Did you give up those leads, give up business in some way? How did you transition slowly those leads to somebody else? Slowly. Scary dude. So, I mean, that, but let's talk about that because let's that's talk the, about that it, is man. a giant shift. First, I had to believe, I had to believe that by not servicing that buyer that I could have made 10 grand on and give it to someone else who might close it and make me five grand if I split the commission, I had to believe it would give me the ability to do that twice as many times. So if I can generate twice as many leads by not being in production, I then would have made 5,000 every time and I would have broke even. So then my bigger belief system was that I could generate three times as much business and then five times as much and I could train the people to convert it. But I didn't do it all overnight. A lot of people will say, oh, I just quit selling. I didn't do that. Um, in 2012, when all these leads were coming in, I just took listings and I gave all my buyer leads over to my buyer's agents and they couldn't list. So I worked the list side all the way till 2014. I went two full years just focused that on probably listings. That had been one of the most stressful times of your life. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah, because I, I mean, I watched all these leads I was sending okay. to my buyer team and they weren't right. converting them the way I converted them. I'm like, well, just lost 10 grand, just lost seven grand. So I hedged the bet. There's a book Tony Robbins wrote about after money. It's a lot shorter than money called Unshakable. And he talks about how billionaires, we think they take these huge risks, but they're always hedging their bets in some way. My hedge was listings. So it's not as scary when I have 15 listings or 20 listings and seven pendings. I knew there was income coming in. The fear was if, it, if my experiment didn't work, I was gonna set myself back a couple hundred thousand dollars. So that was the biggest risk I took. And within the 12 months, the concept worked. Those six agents that were just not impressive agents were each able to do about 20 deals that year. And most of their deals came from leads I generated yeah. in which they had to give me 50%. So, so now- that's, that's key. I want you guys to hear that is you focused on the listings, you hand out the buyer leads, but you still had to find time to prospect get your listings, oh, yeah. your listings negotiate, your do contract. everything. You had to go meet with the agents, the morning huddles and the weekly meetings and spend the money on Boomtown and yeah. track it all. It was pretty, I created marketing service agreements. So your, my MSA is actually paid for my Boomtown platform and a thousand dollars a month ad spend. Today I'm up to $10,000 a month ad spend. So I've 10 X my spend and I went from 300 leads to 3000 leads a month, but I've gone from six agents to 50 and our goal this year is to add another 50 We'd like to end the year 2018. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. Next year, 2018, we'd like to end with 100 agents. What Jeff's saying there is one of the ways you can reduce your risk of going through that out of producer to business model of a team is to try to get some money from vendors <laughs> to offset the, the monthly right. you have to make. And Jeff is very good at uh, raising money within the law. And if you guys are interested too, uh, on our website, if you go up to how, let me actually show you guys. You actually go to our website and you go up here to how it works and you go to monthly implementation and you scroll down, you know, I really don't want any of you actually paying for viral marketing. There's no reason anyone on this meeting should be paying viral marketing any money because you could very easily raise money with co-marketing sponsors, with advertising and so on and so forth with what Jeff does. And if you're interested in downloading a sponsorship agreement or you want to talk to me about that to start at least offsetting your 550 or offsetting the fee to help us implement this for you, download the sponsorship agreement here and check that out. And uh, it's basically it's a credit card or a form that you can go to somebody to raise, uh, sell advertising space, more or less. Frank, will you post that in the chat just so everyone has access to that? That's huge, you guys. I didn't even know this was a possibility until my sales call with Boomtown in 2011. And I've completely zero based my marketing spend today through vendor yeah. relationships. The key there is under promise over deliver. Those vendors aren't gonna stay vendors with you if you're not able to send leads well, that, their way, so. That, if you guys are interested, email me. 
but that link there is how I would raise money to zero cost everything we're talking about today. All right. To help you with that very stressful period of your life as you move from production to becoming a leader. And I would go through it to it viral. It was very difficult. So here's anyway. the hard thing. Frank, let me go back real quick. One more thing to the mindset of the shift. You don't have to change. If you're happy making a hundred a year, 500 a year, a million a year, whatever it is, and staying in production, continue to stay in production. Good for you. I'm proud of you. I'm glad you're happy doing it. I got sick of servicing clients. Hundreds of deals later, I'm like, I don't want to service any more clients. I was more interested in the training and development. And now obviously I have a podcast and I have a coaching company. I wanted to do all sorts of other stuff, but it's okay if you want to stay in production. I don't like this pressure we're creating for agents. If they don't want to start a leverage and do that, that's fine, but they can leverage in other ways. You could continue being the rainmaker, but just go on the appointment and get the listing signed and then let mm -hmm. everyone else do everything else. That's going to be the smartest way to work that business if you choose to go that route. Sure. So let's, let's step through. So you had to make this jump and to, I'm going to focus on recruiting and I'm going to have to give up the now listings and somehow risking this business with some other agent that's not as good as me I'm giving it to. All right. Right. So let's start off with crafting your offer. So let's just jump to where you are now. Okay. Will you explain to the audience here, our clients, about the offer, the split, what they get, why in the world would anyone in the right mind consider joining your team as opposed to starting their own brokerage or going to work directly for a broker? Right. Bottom line, with me, you're going to net more money than without me. So I have a process of showing them and teaching them that if they choose to put their license under my team's umbrella, they're going to end the year making more money, working less time, and being able to accomplish their dreams. So we spend a lot of time focusing on why are they working? Why are they trying to make money? Um, there's a great book that speaks to that called The Dream Manager. So everyone does a vision board every January, and we're intentional to meet with everyone weekly and make sure that the money they're earning, they're using to do the things that they promise themselves they want to do when they do generate that income. So it's a larger purpose. So that in and of itself is motivation for people to join our group rather than a lot of the other teams that are out there that aren't focused on that and just focus on the dollars and cents. The money's not just a one and a zero until you choose to put it towards something that will get you the result that you want. So the foundation is, is definitely purposeful. So a lot of us, everyone listening does listing presentations and some agents charge 7% and some charge 4% and some pay $50 and have an attorney put it on the MLS. I like thinking of commission splits the same way and attracting agents the same way. I'm able to get a 7% listing in Omaha and I do a 12 month contract and I do a $5,000 cancellation policy because we offer way more value than any other agent in my market. And not only do we offer the value, we can show the seller that by going with us, they're going to net net more money with us than with the person that charges $50 or 5%. And 95% of people believe it because you also have to get people to believe it. Perception is reality, right? So it's the same conversation with an agent. Yes, you might come on, you start off on our team, every internet lead always stays at 50-50. That never changes if it's a lead created by the brokerage. A third of our team's business this year will come from leads that were created by the brokerage. And if you wanna see that breakdown, I have some pretty cool analytics on our Gecko board. It's dashboard.omahaselite.com. So you might wanna put that link up too. Dashboard1.omahaselite.com and dashboard2.omahaselite.com. We'll give you two different dashboards. One's analytics and one is team goals. So we show the agent, I actually have a spread, a sheet, which I can send to Frank and he can post up in your guys' tool board or whatever you call it. But I have a sheet that breaks down all of the costs that my company incurs. And so when I sit down with a recruiting candidate or a recruiter does, <clears throat> we ask the candidate, what do you use for your CRM? What do you use for up on prospecting? What are you paying for lead generation? You know, we go down this list of 30 questions and the answer to most of the questions is I'm not doing that and I'm not doing that and I'm not doing that and I don't have that. And we say, well, with us, you're going to have all of that and your cost with us is zero. We charge nothing. We pay for everything out of pocket. The company incurs 50000 a month in overhead costs, $600,000 a year. We have it all broken down in this spreadsheet. The only, cost, the only way we make money is when you're successful, just like a seller. The only time they pay a commission is if we're successful and get the house sold. And so we show the agent that with us, even though they're not going to make as much per transaction, net, net year in, they're going to make more. They're going to have more access to support throughout the, the process with lead gen on the front end, accountability with a coach that we built in on a weekly basis that meets with our agents, to team events, which Frank mentioned, we have two training events every week. We also have an accountability meeting every week. It's Monday, Wednesday, we're Friday. We're going to get to that after the offer. So stick with okay. the offer. What did that, okay. what did that so, clap acronym? We'll say that again. The clap acronym. 
Yeah, so culture is where it all start, kicks off. Lead generation. Everyone that joins our team is promised at least 30 leads a month. Most people end up getting more than that. We have 30 agents on lead rotation. So out of my 50, only 30 work internet leads. 20 of like more of my veteran agents don't want to work internet leads any longer. They're now turning internet leads over to their sub agents. So we have four types of agents on our team and then I'll speak to splits. Um, there's a lead agent, that's an, just an agent that chooses to work under me, it's just an agent. Then there's a team leader and that would be an indication that they have an agent under them. So the people with agents under them, it's a team lead and then the agents under them are called sub agents. And then we just are launching a new option in 2018 called virtual agent. And a virtual agent is someone that never comes into our office. They work virtually and they get all the same support. It's just all done virtually instead of having to come to a brick and mortar. And we're going to offer that solution in the future to every, every agent in the country. Right now, it's just going to be, going to be offered to Nebraska and Iowa because those, those are the two states that we're licensed in. Mm -hmm. So um, when, the, when someone joins the team, internet leads are always the same for everyone, 50-50. But if they generate the lead on their own and they're a brand new agent who's never been in production, the split's 60-40. Every million they do in volume at the end of each calendar year, their split goes up 5%. So if they do $4 million or more, the cap's 80-20. So they do a million or less, or sorry, less than a million, they'd be 60-40 the next year. If they did 4 million or more, they'd, they could go all the way up to an 80-20 split. And the only difference between a team leader split or an individual agent split, they're, they're on the same split structure, and a sub-agent is the sub-agent just notches down 10% in all those categories. So sub-agents start within teams and in my team, at a 50 50 and they can cap at a 70 30. So great. what really matters is when I look at my gross commission income, which this year is over $3 million, I'm netting over 30%. It's about 31% right now. I pay out 60% to agent commissions and I pay out 9% to overhead expenses. My overhead's so low because I offset it with my marketing service agreements, which I bring in 120 grand a year. And then I also offset my $400,000 a year expense in admin through a broker commission that I charge to every buyer and seller, $5.99 on the buy, $9.99 on the sell. But right. normally on a P&L, you're gonna have way more overhead expenses when it comes to admin. Yeah. I just wanna get across that so it's much. interesting, there's 60% um, that we pay out in agent commission, so really our split's 60-40, but the agents that are generating leads feel better making their 80, and then of course there's other agents making 50, and it all averages out to about 60% payout. Jet, this is great. So what I want you guys to see here is Jeff's offer is he figures out what their dreams are. He has this worksheet he goes through to show the costs and he has a solution to provide them the culture, the leads, the accountability, the processes and strategies to be successful. And someone's going to, you know what, with a split structure, you know, you're going to give me some leads at caps at a certain point. We have to craft your offer on when someone's going to join your team and everyone's different. Some people give leads, yeah. some people don't. And everyone wants to kind of run their business a different way. But what's also interesting, that jump you have to make from, let's say, the producer to the business model is, you know, Jeff has been able, with a transaction fee added on to his listings. Jeff, what's your transaction fee? $9.99 on the listing. And how many homes do you sell? Well, yeah, 750 sites to date. Yeah. Okay. It adds up. It does add up. So you had zero bases, all of your admin, yep. and all of your marketing is zero based through marketing service agreements. Mm -hmm. so your only real expense is some minor overhead at that point yep. and your agent commissions and the rest is left for you. Yeah. Over 30%. Okay. So I want you to think about some extra sources to get money to help you get through this process of getting into Bayer and Jeff, as a whole um, consulting business, it's actually EliteRealEstateSystems.com where you can learn more about this and his offer and how he presents that. But let's move on now. So you crafted this offer, you had this vision for your team, and you needed to get one-on-one -on -one meetings with people to like say, Jeff, how can you help me? You need to get recruiting appointments. Right. And one of the ways that you wanted to do that was by getting people to trainings, getting people to mm -hmm. real, actual, live events Right. in person that you're holding at your office. Will you explain those events to us? Yeah. So I thought that people would want to come to a recruiting event. So we decided that this year to split test. Every month we would host a training event and every month we would host a recruiting event and we would track the numbers. And the training events averaged about 20 people in attendance and the recruiting events averaged three people in attendance. And it was very interesting. No one wants to be recruited but they want to be trained by the number one person in the market or somebody that they believe would be able to offer them value. So 
this is the best part. We were already doing trainings every Friday. And once a month, we just decided to open it up to anyone. Well, the truth is, it's always open to anyone. Anyone can always come to our trainings. But we intentionally marketed two people on Facebook. We ran about a $500 a month ad spend every month to invite everyone that was in our mastermind. These were people that weren't, they didn't know they were recruiting candidates. They were just in this real estate mastermind page that we had invited them to. And there's a whole other strategy to that, which I'll let Frank go down that yeah. rabbit hole. But we used a virtual assistant who pinged every single person from my Facebook account. We'll, we'll get to that. That's later okay. on. We'll just get to that. about the events. Just tell okay. about the events. So we, else. It's my Friday training. So for example, one of my trainings is a listing presentation training that I lead. I always led those trainings when we'd have our recruiting candidates there. So our team, usually about 20 people will show up to a Friday training. When it's a special mastermind training day, we'll end up getting about 40 people. There are 20 visitors and 20 from my team. And I just treat it like any other day. I thank all of the visitors for coming. I say, this is what our trainings are like every single week. This is what my agents experience every single week. This is what our culture looks like. This is what our office looks like. Thank you for coming today. We feed them. We usually will have like some type of like, you know, coffee and snacks and stuff like that. And we just have a great one hour training where I deliver as much content and value as possible. This is my, these are two of my direct competitors, right? Brokers from other offices come, agents, team leaders, anyone is welcome to any meeting. But the one we push, I give as much value and I'm passionate. And at the very end, I say, thank you so much for coming. And everyone gets up and walks out and says, that was amazing. Thank you so much. That's it. That's the event. I just oh. do a training event. Well, Chef, how do you get recruiting appointments out of that? <laughs> right. How? I know. So people have my contact info. Usually they'll walk up to me afterwards and be like, I've never seen anything like this before. I can't believe for one, you're my competitor, which competitor, no, no. We're not competitors, each other's competitors. You yourself are your own competitor. That's the only competition I've ever seen in this world. So I, I would say, you know, I, you know, I appreciate you coming, love the feedback, what you think of the office, blah, 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 blah. And then people that are recruiting candidates would say, you know what, I would love to meet with you and talk a little bit more about your team, or I'd love to come back to another meeting. And if anyone shows interest like that, then I would say, well, you know what, I'd love to connect you with, and I'd pass them off to my recruiter, which I have two part-time recruiters that work in different capacities within my team. And we just call them business development reps. And so I'd say, you know, I'd love to set you up with a time. Maybe we'll go grab lunch or buy you breakfast or whatever. We could talk a little bit more about the team. And if this is something you're interested in, it'd be awesome to have you see if you're a good fit or not. We usually only hire one out of every 10 people that say they want to be on our team. So we create scarcity. We tell and that's the truth. I mean, most people aren't a good fit for our team because to be on our team, it's hard. You got to work hard. You got to make a lot of phone calls and be held accountable and go to trainings and it's like a job. So let me, let me get like this work. straight. So you have a weekly training event that you do for your agents, but you make it yeah. publicly available for everyone and you're inviting people, other agents that are outside of your team. Yeah. To come to that training every single week. Yeah. Every Wednesday we have a career topic. So today was negotiation training I thought you said and then Friday. every, so we are switching them in 2018. So every Wednesday is a career topic and then every Friday's dialogue that goes along with the career topic. Okay. So there's two hours a week of training and then our team accountability meeting, which is like take care of housekeeping items, um, announce what's coming up with trainings, um, recap whatever was presented the week before. That's the day our lender vendors come in and can speak to the agents. That's every Monday. But every Wednesday, every Friday for one hour, we've been doing this for six years, there's training and the agents are planning on it and expecting it. So I think the takeaway here as you want to start recruiting is to start hosting training events at some frequency is you have training events. And that probably took you some time to realize I got to do a weekly training when I could be prospecting and bringing in business. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Very, very challenging. Yeah. I didn't, you know, yeah. Cause I knew how to do everything. Why would I do it? I don't want to go to be a part of a training. Yeah. I thought someone else could do it as well. And in the beginning I did a lot of it and then people started elevating themselves. We call them subject matter experts. So the person that was the best with Facebook, they, we just asked them to do a 60 minute training and they do it every rotation, every three months. One of my top agents does the Facebook training and another one does Mojo training. And I found that you don't have to pay for a trainer, just find the best people either on your team or within your office yeah. that are willing to come and do the trainings. So what you realize is that, you know, more and more of your time spent on structured trainings of some aspect in your office and you use those trainings to train your existing agents, but like when I open them up or broadcast them, uh, to use that content for recruiting in, in many ways, right? right. Yeah. So, okay. So you knew you wanted to build a team. You then crafted an offer that obviously at this point has been very well thought out, but just come join my team, work with me for a split. Here's an offer, right? right? Here's what you yeah. get, you know? And then you're like, okay, I need recruiting appointments. So at this point now you're like, let me just 
invite people to my training across all brokerage brands, right? And you're getting much better results in inviting people to existing trainings and holding a recruiting event. Right. Right. Way better. So now we need to talk about how in the world do you get people to your training events? You know, so this is where the concept of publishing a real estate training newsletter, or in your case, you create a Facebook page, which is the same idea. It's basically yeah. publishing educational training content so people can spend some time with you online yep. so they feel comfortable coming into your office spending time with you in person. Yep. So tell me what you're doing to consistently publish content out to all the area agents. We'll talk about how they actually promote it and how we invite right. people. But where does it go? What do you publish? What's your content publication schedule? Yeah. Where do you put it? So I'm using viral marketing. <laughs> Frank probably okay. wasn't even asking for this plug, but we've been using viral for a year managing our recruiting page. And so essentially our recruiting page is our mastermind page. And so we have these events every month. So we're continually promoting the event organically. So, Jeff, hang and on. Paying for on ads. Facebook, this is a page on Facebook, right? Yeah. What's, what's it called? It's and it's open source. It's a uh, elite real estate systems mastermind. Omaha's elite real estate. Sorry. Oh my gosh. I have too many things in my mind. Omaha's elite real estate mastermind. Yeah, I'm going to pull it up here. Okay. Uh, Omaha's elite real estate group. Hold on. There's one that's going to say mastermind. Maybe it is private right now. I'm not I'll sure. find out. Leah, yeah, cool. Leah did all that for me. Yeah, it's private. But you can, in, you can request to be on there and we'll add anybody if they want to kind of. Oh, check here it, it is. Out. Nope. It's there. There we go. I do want to so show this to everybody. The, the most recent post. Sorry. Here you go. Yeah, you're good. So how many people do we have in here right now, Frank? 655 people follow this. So that's a lot. So there's 655 agents that are following this because remember, we were specific about making sure that we put the people in there that we wanted to recruit. You'll see I put my podcast in there today. Um, that was a post from Hawaii. This is another uh, podcast that one of my direct reports success managers did. And then anytime we have an event, here's an event we just hosted to raise money for the Humane Society, that picture of the bulldog. Mm -hmm. um, we have events every quarter and we invite our entire recruiting list to come out to an event to help some type of a cause. And so of course it's, it's recruiting. Like we do the events because we want to be able to get to know other agents in other markets or sorry, in our market, but from other brokerages, but it's also a charity event and it helps my team culturally stay, you know, closer together but it's also, we did it to recruit as well because it's a way where we can connect where it's not recruiting, but it gives us the ability to talk to other people. Otherwise, where are you going to talk to people from other brokerages? It's awkward. And a direct yeah, phone call, no one wants a direct phone call. No, it's, it's, Jeff, this is great. So you created a totally separate Facebook page. This is why I teach in the course. Yeah. About uh, Jeff Cohn's real estate training or the Omaha Elite Real Estate Mastermind. But all you do is the audience is real estate agents and you post, you live stream your team meetings to it. You're posting educational video content, interview agent, whether being successful. Yeah. And my goal every two weeks, like viral is to pop up and just say like, if I just got done, I read about a book every three weeks. And so if I read a great book, I'll say, Hey, I just got done reading this book. This was amazing. This is what I took from it. If you, if you want to get this book, here's the link on Amazon. So I, I try to be a thought leader, giving value. I never tell someone to join my team. It's not about recruiting in this group. It is about recruiting, but no one sees the word recruiting. I don't say join my team. All it's about is giving value. And even in the beginning, if you read like read, if you read my intro, I say, you know, I've been in the real estate business 10 years and I want to give back. So many people have helped me. Yeah. And it is true. You know, I know that only like 1% of these people are going to join my team or it's a couple percentage points. I do want to give back and I do want to help. And it paints a totally different image of the number one agent in that marketplace when they're just constantly giving value and giving content and it feels good to do it. And are people using it and competing against me? I haven't seen that. And if they are good for them. So I'm not worried about it. Yeah. I like on your page when you bring this up again is you have your event. So basically you're making offers for people and see if I can find one to come to one of your events. Not that quick. Yeah. That one, but uh, yep. where's one of your and that's, trainings? And that's exactly what it looks like. Just like that one for the Here we mastermind. Go. Real yep. estate success mastermind Friday training 10 a.m. Yep. That was our last one in October. And then we did our event last month in November. And people just see these, they register and they show up, huh? Oh yeah. So lead generation was got the most amount of people out. I had like 28 people to lead gen. And then I invited all those same people to lead conversion and only five people came to lead conversion. So oh, that's no, that's no lead fun. gen that is the work. sexy topic. So yeah. make sure to do lots of lead gen Facebook training. generation. I, I don't know. That's it, man. No. That's the buzz. All right. So again, let's walk through this. Jeff made the decision you want to build a team and had to figure out financially 
hopefully some sponsors, mm -hmm. transaction fee, some way to hedge the risk and manage the downside of giving leads to agents and bringing on people. Because mm -hmm. it's a very stressful time of your life to do that. I want to recognize that for everyone. Then you're like, okay, I got to craft an offer. I have to explain to someone how they're going to make more money and less time, what they're going to get, the value proposition to come work with me for a different split and say going directly to a broker. Then you're like, okay, I got to start training my people, which is hard when for all the time you're on the phone, doing the calls, doing the work yourself. So you can set some structured training events. And I mean, how many hours a week of training do you provide your team right now? Jeff, personally? Everyone, how much training is offered just to your agents? Including new week? agent onboarding yes. training. There's four hours a week. Four hours a week of training in your office. Yeah. Okay. But that's going to change. Next year, we're going to offer... Um, we're going to offer three hours a day, 15 hours a week of training is our goal next year. Just more, it's just going to be a training organization. That's what we are. Yeah. I think that's the aha. If you really want to be able to bring people to come work for you. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you structured that and then you said, okay, I got to get people to my events. So I'm going to take my events. I'm going to put them on Facebook on a, I'm going to create a separate Facebook page for training. So it's an audience of agents, not the current one that's buyers and sellers and past clients on whatever. Mm -hmm. Put my events on there. And I'm going to start publishing content on the Facebook page that's of education in nature. Okay. So that makes sense. People see your stuff on Facebook and you put an event up there and they just show up from the Facebook event. That's pretty <laughs> cool, man. How nice that's is this? It. That's it. All right. I'm taking it now. Now the question is, how in the world do you get agents to like your page, and again, this doesn't have to be a Facebook page, this can be subscribed to your email newsletter. Right. Uh, there's lots of other medias for this, but the, the, the concept is, is how do you get people to consume right. so, content? This was, this was uh, probably the easiest thing, and I, I would have thought it would have been the hardest. I had my virtual assistant, I own a call center in the Philippines, we have like 100 virtual assistants, 1000callsaday.com. Frank, you know a little bit about that business I too. Know it very well. <laughs> and we had my full-time virtual assistant go into my Facebook account and personally Facebook message every recruiting candidate that we wanted to invite to the mastermind page. And Hold within on. about to the mastermind page. Correct. Not to the event or not to recruit them. Nope. To the mastermind page. And I created a very short little sentence that said, Hey, just started this awesome real estate mastermind page for top agents in the in the city. And I think that you would be the perfect fit. It had their first name. It felt somewhat authentic because there's not, to my knowledge to this point, a software that will blast on a Facebook message. So all these agents who know of me in my marketplace are like, wow, Jeff invited me to this mastermind page. I just have to accept the invite done. And, and about 15 is that they reply back. You handle the replies. Like Jeff is really, yeah, absolutely. I had a guy, yes, that happened. Yeah. This is, you know, they made a joke that of course it's not me. And I responded right away. Cause I have the notifications on my phone when I get an instant message. I said, what do you mean? It's not me. Of course this is me. And he had, he like gave me a challenge question and I, I, I passed. Yeah. So 50%, we had a thousand people on the list. 50% signed up within 72 hours. So we had 500 people Whoa! in three days. Say it again. 50% of the people we invited, so that we invited 1,000 people, 50% signed up in the first yes. 72 hours. So let's get over this limiting belief that nobody wants your content, nobody wants to hear from you, that you just yeah. reach out to a fellow agent saying, I'm starting this group, I have this content, I'd like you to receive right. it, like it, like the page, yeah. or Organic. ask your email address. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it was easy. So then what we did on top of that, because I wanted everybody, of course, we then ran Facebook ads to the e email addresses of the other people that hadn't uh, joined yet. And the Facebook ad just said, join Omaha's number one fastest growing real estate mastermind group, click here. And then every time they join it, we then would stop targeting them on Facebook. And we got the other 500 to join pretty much just through that. So, And this took that, you from 25 to 50 agents. This was one of the main strategies implemented. I think hosting the trainings was huge, but I had the challenge of how do I get people to come to my training? They're going to think it's a recruiting event. They're going to think it's a you know, bait and switch. And I didn't want people to think it's bait and switch. The word recruit could never be brought up at a training. The word recruit could never be brought up on the page or on the newsletter. That was really important to me. So I thought that I was going to host another event that's called a recruiting event and that all these people would want to go to the recruiting <laughs> event as well. No one wants to go to the recruiting event. No one wants to be recruited. They're so sick yeah. of it. We did outbound calls. We did thousands of calls. No one wants to be called. It needs to be organic. It needs to be fun. And so any fun event you can host, and it doesn't have to be a training event, anything, a charity event or anything else you can think of, invite everyone to it, but you have to have the list to know who you want to invite. So we picked, a lot of people will probably ask, like, who did you invite? Because I said I had 1,000 yeah, people. How'd you build your list? Right. There's 2,700 licensed agents in Omaha. We identified anyone that does between one 
and 25 transactions were the agents that we wanted to go after last year or in 2017. So why I say one is there's 19 out of 20 agents got out of the business. Most of those agents never did one transaction. And we know that it takes about a hundred hours to get a person to the level that you're at after you do one deal. So I was like, I want to find an agent that's done at least one deal yep. up to 25 deals. And then back to that original conversation where I would sit down with a, a recruiting candidate and we'd look through that list of costs. What I found was even team leaders and broker owners were spending more money in overhead expenses than, than they would have to spend if they were with me. So let's say they were spending 25% of their GCI in overhead. They would oftentimes find that at an 80, 20 split with me, they would net more because I'm taking care of all those overhead expenses. Yep. And the only and reason I, the only reason that people don't join is because of ego and pride and brand that they want to say, and I'm like, you're, you're hanging your team under another broker. What's the difference between saying you're with Omaha's elite with Berkshire versus you're with Berkshire or you're with Keller Williams or whatever. And all I could imagine is it's ego and control, but they could net more with me and work less and be happier. I think so. Yeah, well, they can't be that's your success shows that. All right. So again, you knew you wanted to recruit agents. I also want to, you know, before I say that, one of the things we need to stop saying at Viral, I tell John this, I tell our team this, these are not recruiting blogs. God, stop saying call, calling the recruiting blogs or recruiting videos. It puts you in entirely in the wrong mindset. You start making this video saying, I got this job. Come work for me. I have too many leads. I can't handle right. all the leads. Come call me to come work for me. And you start spamming right. all the M agents in the MLS. Right. That's like this, what the strategy Jeff and I are sharing here is the antithesis to that of this yes. slow attraction training that you constantly provide at a better level than everybody else in the marketplace. Right. And you had to get over a lot of limiting beliefs that you could do a good job, Jeff, and you did it. I didn't think people would join. I thought, you know, they'd come see the training and they'd just keep taking advantage. But there comes a point where you're like, why am I driving to this other office by a competing broker or a competing team and going to their training? This is ridiculous. I'm just going to join the team or I'm at least going to ask if I can join the team. And that's what we found happens when people see that there's value there. There has to be value there though, Frank. And I think that we take for granted sometimes the training content itself it's hard to create, it is hard to create uh, training content. It takes a lot of time. We've been doing it for a very long time, but just pick a couple topics that you think you're good at. You could pick your top four and just rotate through those every couple of months. Or I'm going to give people another idea. Uh oh. Yeah. They could uh, buy your training content. And I mean this, Yeah. you know, what I do at viral marketing for you guys is like, I don't, I don't use my own stuff to train our people at viral. Like there's lynda.com. There's udemy.com. There's like Adobe puts out training material. I just buy other people's training material. And then I basically what we do is we uh, facilitate it or instruct to it, ask people questions. And technically that's called a flipped classroom where the instruction is done with like pre-recorded videos and in the meetings you talk about it. Mm. You know? So um, I'll get to that in a second, Jeff, because Jeff actually live streams all of his trainings, which you guys can check out. He, he what, 50 grand you dropped? Yeah, 50,000 on my studio. And I just dropped the link for Elite Real <laughs> okay. Estate System. So I'm saying it now because this is perfect timing. For yeah. $17 a month, any agent in the country, including agents in Omaha, Nebraska, can join us for all of our Wednesday, Friday trainings. Eight yeah. hours of content a month and it's recorded. And you can engage with our trainer and ask questions. So that would be good to see, like, what is this like to live stream and to broadcast your trainings? And this is where a lot of the future of real estate is heading, with like EXP and in cloud-based brokerages, all the value is getting stripped down into who's provided the coaching and the training. And it's interesting to hear your, your virtual model. Yeah. Virtual agent. I think I'm the first to speak to it. I haven't heard anyone else talk yeah. about it before. Yep. So anyways, let's, let's go back now to this course. I want you guys to see this. So if this is for you, let's go through this. I want to train you on exactly what Jeff has done. I have a class starting January 8th. And we have another semester starting July 9th. You'll meet in a small group of six to eight real estate agents with me. I will be your instructor every single week for an hour. I'm teaching three classes a week where we're going to go through all these lessons. And on top of that, you're going to have a weekly one-on-one -on -one implementation meeting with John to make sure that the information you're getting from me on the small group meetings that we talk about and I give you feedback and guide you on is being implemented by here at Viral Marketing. And we're going to take care of all the implementation support because you're a current Viral Marketing client. That's awesome. So what do we have to do? First, well, objective zero, I would say, a prerequisite for to objective one 
is understand uh, life will be painful for you as you put this in place because you have to basically juggle two businesses, recruiting training business and your real estate business. But that could be hedged with sponsors and maybe a transaction fee to help offset some of your costs. So you don't have such a high monthly amount you have to hit. And Jeff, you could probably speak to people on that. I want to you know, go listen to Jeff's podcast and some of his stuff on his website of how he went through that transition. I'm sure he has tons of content on that. Mm-hmm. So we have to start by crafting your offer. We have to understand what are your sources of recruits. We have to write your offer. I recommend putting it up on a landing page. We need to email your current database to tell them about your offer. I think everyone should know that you're looking for real estate agents. We should do some recruits on the online job boards. And we have some applicant follow-up process. I bet you in the first 30 days, we get some solid recruits just by getting your offer up on a page and getting an announcement out that you are hiring agents. Here's my offer to everyone that you know with some quick online job boards. It's a quick hit. So that's why I had that in like a module once. But now that we have the offer, we need to start putting together some planning events. Now Jeff does like a weekly training. In my opinion, I would probably recommend some three hour business planning clinic because what people really need is they have so many shiny objects of like all these different things they can do and they're so confused. If you could bring them together for three hours and say, look, I'm gonna help you guys write a business plan. We're gonna put together this, 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 this system for you to get business, come to this training, and you can kind of repeat that same branded event over and over again, that's what a lot of coaching companies do. I wanna help you put together those events. So we have to have a, a reason to meet with you one-on-one, and then we need to put together like an event training system and strategy, much like what Jeff has done, all right? So, got your offer, got your events rocking, you kinda of know what you wanna do. We talk about the curriculum, what you're going to teach, look at some examples. Maybe you guys go attend a few events, watch some of Jeff's live streams. You start getting comfortable. It's like, you know, maybe I could do this. Then it's like, okay, how do we get people to the events? Well, I'm going to call it a training newsletter. It could easily be a mastermind Facebook page, Facebook group. The point is you have to give a reason why people should like your page and your approach, why people should subscribe. And then let's make sure that people can find the content online. Let's plan out your topics for the year what topics work, let's set up your YouTube and Facebook channel for your recruiting, your trail, I should say your, your real estate training content, not recruiting content. I call Love myself it. there, Jeff, Love right? Uh, shooting videos, all that stuff, right? This is kind of the core viral marketing stuff that you would expect. I can really geek out on this with you, okay? And finally, okay, you know, you got this content, you got this event, you have this amazing offer, but nobody knows about it. So what do you want to do? What did Jeff do? Well, we need to put together a website to host it all. And Jeff, your site's incredible. Dude. See, what's going to happen is if you do a good job with this, guys, I told Jeff like four years ago, Jeff, if you do this well, it's just going to turn into a coaching company. It's yeah. going to turn into a cloud brokerage. And wasn't that the natural extension of your recruiting? It was the next step. It made yeah, sense. it's just the natural extension. So you can see Jeff live streams his meetings. He has his workshops of all these people. Jeff, this is insane. How many people are in here? <laughs> that day was like 50. That's ridiculous. We try to keep them to about 25 or 30. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Like, that's amazing. All those people show up to your event, right? Yeah. So you guys can go here and check this out. This is like the natural evolution of a great careers website where, you know, you're going to have agents that watch your stuff from around the country that want to come to your training or attend your training. You're going to go, well, I'm really kind of just recruiting, but then they're going to go, well, I'll pay you. And a light bulb goes off. You start saying, well, maybe I should sell access to the training and stuff like that. Does it make sense? Yeah, show them an example of the live stream real quick, Frank. Click on learn yeah, more. Absolutely. Oh, well, learn more. You're fine. You can go. Well, hang on. I want to show this really quick. So we came up with some training content. So you have your Wednesday training, Thursday training, Friday training. You have these set training times every week on your team. I think you guys can learn a lot from this. So understand, even though this is a quote unquote coaching business, the way this is being marketed, this is just the offer to why an agent should join his team. This is what you get. Yeah. Agents actually get this. And I think everyone listening from a training standpoint, we have a lot of top teams, brokers and agents using this to recruit. They'll say, when you join us, you're going to get access to the top training in the country through live stream. And it's 17 bucks a month. You can buy a seat for each of your agents. Yeah. So anyways, you can go on here and check out his live streams. It's chapter stuff is great. So let me see if I can play this really quick to a website uh, what we found through all of that is we never stopped using craigslist we just changed the way we posted the link and instead of putting a hyperlink we just put in the html and you couldn't even say copy paste because they had a bot that would catch the word copy paste so we'd say take this you this information and put it in a web browser so like you had to find <laughs> special buzzwords that it would allow how cool is that there you go that's so cool man do you guys see that the training content is the way to go? So let's go back to this monthly implementation. 
Well, yeah. So then we have Facebook advertising and then outbound calling or I'd call outbound messaging assistant. So if you guys are interested in this, we have about four minutes left. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the screen share, right? This is an add on to the core viral marketing service. So we can implement this. And if you're interested in this, let me know, fill out that page. All right. I do want to sell this to you. I've spent eight years learning basically how to build a coaching business. And uh, I would like to teach it to you with the two partners that started viral marketing, John and myself. This is going to be the next add on in this project based group implementation. Um, I'll give you a money back guarantee for the first 30 days on it, you know, um, if you're interested in doing this. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, uh, we have the chat box open over here. Feel free to ask a question. Um, let me ask you this, Jeff, what's next for you? You're at 50 agents. Can you handle more than 50 agents in your office? without having to take on more mental management. Is there some oh, yeah. point where a team gets too big? Never. Ah, it's like asking a McDonald's franchise if you could ever own too many restaurants. So how do as you long as there's a foundation and a system to hold people accountable, generate leads, you know, and um, hold, make, just make sure that they're actually following through with the processes. You have that foundation in place. You can go as big as you want to go. That's why we're offering the virtual agent solution starting next year. You could be licensed anywhere, eventually anywhere in the country. And they're going to come to us for leadership, training. They're going to be retained through the value ads that we give them, which will include lead gen, but also CRMs and dialers and virtual assistants and back office support. And these are all the components that all of us always are talking about, just so that a lot of us aren't doing it at a big level. And I, you know, when I built my business, I thought a lot about how it would serve me. Then I thought how it would serve five agents. Now I'm thinking about how to serve 50. And if I'm going to recruit hundred, I have to think, how is this going to serve hundred and how is it going to serve a thousand and what helped me get to where I am now isn't necessarily what's going to help me get to where I want to go tomorrow. And so you always have to be cognizant and forward thinking and intentional about the decisions you're making as a business owner. Got it. Well, I don't have any questions here, guys. I hope you uh, find this of value. Let me also leave you with this as well. So this is an implementation group. Listen up to this before you go. This is an implementation group. The reason you spend this money is because you want to be on live meetings with me and you want to implement this over the course of six months. Okay. But how do you know my material's good? How do you know this stuff works? Well, all of the classes be free, meaning every single recording of the 24 lessons will be posted and available to viral marketing clients completely for free. So if you're interested in implementing this on your own and you don't want to be a part of the recruiting group where you have that you're in the group and you're working with us with weekly one-on-one calls and you just want to follow along for the content and we implement on your own along the way, you guys will get a code. All of the information will be up on a membership site and you'll be able to access the entire course at absolutely no charge. I think it's pretty cool. That's a little benefit of being a viral client. That's huge. Yep. So all, Frank, the, all the material will be there. I'm making an offer too, just because I can't not make some type of an offer. Anyone with viral marketing, this offer stands any month, all of 2018. If you want to come out to our team building workshop, it's oh, usually right. $29.97. We'll offer it to you for 50% off, $14.97. That includes bringing a guest so along. Long. So all viral clients yeah. get that for 50% off. That's a good deal. I appreciate that, Jeff. Um, yep. You guys notice, notice Jeff um, spends an entire day with you and explains all of his systems. So $1,500. Fifteen hundred bucks. We'll give you our database, our da well, um, Google Drive best, with all of our intellectual property. The best part is that where is it at? Your Google Drive. Hey, that yeah, it's towards the bottom. Where is it at? Eh, well, no, it's not. But whatever. All the documents that Jeff uses to build his team uh, live in his Google Drive. He just shares it with you, which is pretty valuable. Okay. So um, let's see. That's all I got. See, so any questions, Patricia? How you doing? One last question. This is incredible. Patricia says. Do you have any samples of how Jeff blocked his time? And again, this is going to be the challenge. How yeah. did Jeff block his time in the beginning? I, I sucked at time blocking <laughs> in the beginning. So I decided I would work 50 hours a week, you know, selling real estate, which I always did for six years. And then when I launched the team, I did it because I wanted to save me time. But I probably added in a, another 10 or 15 hours to my work week. Um, Dude, it's, it's going to suck. To be able I mean, to do I, it. I think it sucked. Be real with people is unless, you know, you somehow – have lots of experience going from being a salesperson to a leader, you're, it's going to be a huge yeah. growth. How you do it is you challenge. stop working buyers, to be honest. If you can stop working buyers or use a showing assistant, everything you can do to leverage your time. The best time spent is a phone, is prospecting for leads, 
and meeting with clients to sign exclusive buyer agency agreements and listing agreements. Outside of that, someone else should do everything. So right now today, if you just stop working buyers for most agents, it's gonna give them 20 hours. But from a time blocking standpoint, everything that I wanted to be intentional about was time blocked on my calendar. It's just, you don't ever, all of us only have so much time, right? And so to juggle a client and train and recruit and put out fires and take a call from your seller, it's a lot, it's hard. It's not yeah. easy. I know. It's hard. All righty guys, that's all I got. I appreciate you coming here to this first meeting for some clients. I plan on doing some more of these. If you guys are interested in rolling the course, contact me, all right? but they will be available for all viral marketing clients, the recordings completely for free. And I'll have a membership site set up free for that if you want to follow along. Maybe enroll in the July group. But, hey, uh, Kevin just quick um, asked a question too, if he could get the list of costs. Is Kevin, Kevin, are you referring to the costs I talked about in my recruiting presentation yeah. with my list of, so I'll give Frank that document and he can make that available to all viral marketing or just this list. Yeah, whatever I'm gonna send to the re I'm gonna send the replay out, send that to be Jeff and I'll send it okay. as a replay. Will do. All right, guys. I appreciate your time. Thanks for this. I'll send it a replay. If you guys want to check it out, that's all I got. All right. All right thanks, you guys. Bye-bye.